the scanning technique for the left adrenal gland in lateral recumbent canine patients. For this ultrasound, a linear transducer will be used at high frequencies with or without harmonics. The general gain should be maintained at approximately 60 to 65%, and the third or fourth TGC curve should be selected from the drop-down menu. Place the patient in right lateral recumbency with its legs directed towards the sonographer. This position will provide a number of benefits when locating the left adrenal gland. Firstly, it will allow the sonographer to scan dorsally into the retroperitoneal space. Secondly, it will help to avoid the gas-filled colon, small intestine, and splenic body, which overlies and can interfere with the visualization of the left adrenal gland. Thirdly, this position seems to be more comfortable to patients and only requires one person to hold the dog. It should be noted, however, that more clipping will be needed to reach the desired area something to consider when speaking to pet owners. To begin in the long axis, point the transducer marker towards the patient's head. Place the transducer in the long axis, caudal to the last rib dorsally, and begin searching for the anatomical landmarks. The first anatomical landmarks are the long axis views of the aorta and renal artery. To locate these landmarks, first locate the long axis view of the left kidney. Then move medially to the cranial pole of the left kidney until the landmarks are visualized. From the long axis aorta, rotate the transducer 15 to 20 degrees clockwise and then begin fanning. Please note that rapid fanning will make the identification of this small organ very challenging. Further, the amount of pressure needed will vary depending on the patient's size, with larger patients requiring slightly more pressure. Use Doppler to localize the vessels entering the aorta, specifically the left renal artery. The left adrenal gland lives between the renal artery and cranial mesenteric artery. The cranial mesenteric artery can be seen cranial to the left adrenal gland. On the left side, the long axis plane of the adrenal gland is hypoechoic and peanut shaped. In larger dogs, it can be more elongated. With high frequency transducers, the cortex and medulla can be readily seen. Measure the widths of the cranial and caudal poles of the left adrenal gland to compare with normal references. Please note that at least two or three videos are needed of this area for the radiologist to conduct a proper review even if the adrenal gland cannot be readily seen. Further, it's important that the anatomic landmarks are included in these videos.